Welcome back, everyone. So dreams of your loved ones have passed on. Maybe they're not just coincidence, but a way for them to communicate with you from beyond. We're back with the medium, with the message, Matt Fraser, to help interpret those messages. You say dreams are sort of like an inbox from heaven. Absolutely. I call them psychic dreams or dream visitations because we've all had the experience where we've dreamt of a past loved one that had, you know, died. They came to us in a dream showing us that they were free of illness, that they were happy. These are all dreams of your loved ones trying to reach you. It's their way because when your soul leaves the physical world, it becomes energy. Mm. And when you go to sleep, your mind enters an energy space. And that energy space becomes like the conference room to one, receive messages from the universe, but also to re receive messages from your loved ones that have passed on. Hmm. Big dream the other two nights ago, um, and I, this is, I dreamt that I was at my aunt and uncle's house. It was a big Thanksgiving dinner. My aunt and uncle are still on this, they're still with right. me, but my aunt was vacant from the dream. Is something, she was not there, and my uncle doesn't cook, so he was like doing everything, and my aunt, should I prepare for, is something bad gonna happen? Well, some of our dreams are just dreams, but it's the dreams that are really vivid and unique, and that have that real effect to it, that you just can't get out of your mind, or maybe it keeps coming back to you, uh, reoccurring within, you know, night after night after night. Those are the dreams that you have to pay attention to, because a lot of them, that you have these crazy, chaotic dreams that you don't know what they mean, they actually have hidden messages inside from the universe, and they refl reflect our phobias and fears. So, for example, if you've ever had that dream of falling, that you're falling and falling and falling in the dream, then all of a sudden you wake up. Well, yeah. that could be symbolizing that you're afraid of failure, that you have to have more self-esteem, that you have to lift yourself up a little bit more, or maybe you have a dream that you're losing money or that you're broke. That could reflect your, finan your finances or that you have to you know, start saving money or putting money away or budgeting better or things like that. Or those dreams that you're eating, right? We've all had that dream where we're sitting down and we're eating a big chocolate cake or eating something. I always hear those dreams that people talk about. Maybe it's reflecting your diet or that you need to pay, take a deeper look into nutrition or things like that. Hmm. Because, and the best way to do this is actually to create a dream journal. And all it is is just a notebook that you keep where that you write down what's going on in your everyday life. What's bothering you? Are you worried about your weight? Are you worried about um, the stresses of finances? Are you trying to find a new job? Are you trying to move? Write that all down. And then on different pages, start to record your dreams. Record them the minute you wake up, because that's when they are you know, fresh and new within your mind. And write them all down and start to look for correlations. Because a lot of times in dreams, they'll talk in symbols. So for example, if we dream of sand, it could represent time. It could represent um, that we are either not taking enough time for ourselves, or we need to focus time in a different area, things like that. So you almost become a detective on your dreams, looking for different symbols, looking for different correlations to find out what's really going on, because it's a deeper look within yourself. Now what if you, I mean, I've tried, I, I don't remember my dreams. I think I just sleep really deeply, yeah. or I wake up in a deep sleep. Uh, is there anything to do to encourage that you could remember your dreams more? Well, I think that means that that's a pretty good sign. It means that you don't have too much that you're worried about. I think the dreams that you know you get when you're really, like it says, they're ongoing or they're reoccurring. Those are the time. Those are the dreams are the times that we need to pay attention more within our life and really focus more on what's going on or what the hidden message is, is tapping more into ourselves. So for instance, I have the reoccurring dream that I'm in the supermarket, the lines are getting long, the scanners are broke. If this is going back to when I worked in the supermarkets back in the 80s and 90s. Is there a way to, I, I don't want that dream, I don't want to have that dream anymore. Is there a way to stop that dream? Start paying attention to it. The more that you pay attention to the different dreams that you have and you time for you to start a dream journal, you start looking for the correlations and you start understanding it better because it's gonna keep repeating itself until you understand what's going on and what's happening. What's the fear? What's the bottom anxiety? It's like when you're a kid and you have that dream that you're naked in school, you know, and you're yeah. running around the classroom with no clothes on. That kind of dream just shows us from very young about our fears and anxieties of how we look in front of other people or their fear and anxieties that we have in school or when we're around others. You have a great so event. So it starts from before. before. before yeah. yeah, you've got a great event coming up at Foxwoods Resort Casino on June 28th. Still a few tickets left, 4 to 6 p.m. in the ballroom there. And uh, we're giving away some tickets. Uh, so four people or two lucky viewers are going to win two tickets. And be the 30 mailer to mail at betterct.com. Tell us one of your dreams of a loved one and you'll be going to Matt Fraser. And guess what, Kara? What? There are only 20 tickets left. Oh, and so we might be under 20, because last time I checked, there was 20 tickets left, so you may be able to win your way in. Great. That's awesome. Thanks so much, Matt.